Toyota Champs. It's Mobile World Conference, and we have some you know, new products from Lenovo. We're going to talk about three. The IdeaPad Gaming, the new ARM laptop that has 28 hours battery life, and the X1 Extreme, the Gen 5 version. Now, sorry for the poor graphics. This is all I have at the moment. Yeah, it was a screenshot from the briefing. But anyway, basically, these IdeaPad gaming laptops are, you know, really affordable gaming laptops. We have some 1440p laptops and 16x10, 1600p laptops. So the 15 inches, 16x9, the 16 inches, 16x10. Powered by Ryzen up to 105 watt TGP. And yes, this is the new Ryzen CPU, so the 6000 series. So that means even without a GPU they will have good gaming performance and basically that's it gaming for the masses quiet cool supposedly got the performance there I do like the 16 inch with that 165 Hertz monitor I love that display and these are just going to be great value gaming now let's talk about this thing here and this is probably the most appropriate laptop for mobile world conference but basically this is an arm powered laptop so it has the latest snapdragon or latest qualcomm processor you'll be running windows for arm up to 28 hours battery life it's supposed to have a lot better performance of course connectivity on the go 16 by 10 ultralight it's only 2.4 pounds now here's the deal with these things i actually might make a video on why you should get an arm laptop and why you shouldn't because it's not going to be for everyone because if you're running windows for arm you need arm apps too it's not like apple where everything's going to move to arm and actually translation actually works okay but if you're a road warrior and you just use you know office 365 and you know google docs or whatever it is that's not heavy duty on the system it's not gaming it's not photoshop it's not you know premiere pro and stuff like that these will be fine They'll have enough performance and the battery life of 28 hours is just mind-blowing, okay? And they will get that. That'll be no problem. It'll be within the 20 hours of battery life, no problem. Probably better battery life than the Apple product because there were already ARM laptops that had 20 hours battery life, but the performance sucked. These ones are supposed to be a bit better, but remember, it's not for gaming or, you know, content creation and stuff like that. It's for the person that's on the go. But the thing I want to talk about the most is this thing here. Well, if we have a look at it, I'll just have a look here. You can have up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5. This is the ThinkPad X1 Extreme G5. Now, I had the G4 generation 4 of this and i'd done a gaming review on it but i never done a full review on it because actually one of my most popular videos was comparing the 100 watt rtx 3080 in the thinkpad x1 extreme gen 4 versus the m1 max macbook pro 16 and the macbook pro 16 was faster in the tomb raider benchmark i'd done which is a gaming benchmark and you wouldn't think a, you know a laptop of an rtx 3080 would be beaten by a macbook pro 16 but that happened and that was because of thermals right so i can already hear the fans on this one Oh, that one loaded quick. There you go, Wolf. I like in that, 80, 80 FPS. Same settings, okay, on both of them. Oh, that just dropped down. 90 FPS. Is this going to drop down? No, this is dropping down quite a lot. That's staying high. Look at that. That's because this is probably thermally throttling there. Yeah, I reckon it is. I reckon this is thermally throttling down. Probably down to about 80 watts on the GPU. Oh, that's going down really bad look at this the magic same settings this one's throttling hard i probably need the thermal pad on there what they said here is if we just have a look here 12 generation cpus ddr5 up to 64 gigs up to 8 terabytes of storage pci express 4 of course rtx 3080 ti so you know better gpu and 12th generation H part, so 12900H. Now they're using liquid metal too. So it's the same as the Gen 4, but with all updated parts and liquid metal and DDR5. Also, they have a new option of the 1600p 16x10 165Hz monitor. So that's the monitor, I think, that goes into the Legion 7. 165Hz, 1600p, 16x10. Beautiful response time and that, and that, I think, is the perfect display for this. Of course, you get Wi-Fi 6E, you get connectivity of 5g if you want that you will lose one m.2 slot if you get the 5g version actually i think over rtx 3060 you lose one of the m.2 slot so it's up to you i guess now the last model it was okay but the thermals were the problem right especially with an rtx 3080 so now these have 12th gen and rtx 3080 ti they say it's 10 percent better performance now if we look here 
there you go 165 hertz you can still get the 4k option if you want and that's a 600 nitter calibrated out of factory dolby vision that's good 12th generation cpus 3080 ti now here's the key thing here integrated liquid metal thermal paste okay so cpu and gpu vapor chamber cooling can provide 10 percent extra performance through better thermal efficiency and helps enable 110 watts tdp now i assume that means 110 watts on the cpu because if it's a gpu as well you usually say tgp and i know that the gen 4 version of this laptop could do about 110 120 watts sort of you know cpu and gpu together so i'm hoping that is just the cpu alone so we should be able to get 125 maybe 130 hopefully 140 watts and then we're sort of getting up to gaming territory but we'll have to wait and see if this liquid metal makes any difference unfortunately when you got the 3080 it really did throttle down and it wasn't worth getting unless you just needed the vram of the 3080 so these are the thinkpads so you actually do get the better chipset with all the security v pro and all that sort of stuff so if you're going to be doing business and stuff these are great laptops to have rather than having a gaming laptop that doesn't have all the security features that you get in a thinkpad a new arm laptop which is always welcome we'll see what happens in the arm space but i bought the gen 4 of this thinkpad and i sold it it was just yeah too hot but we'll see if this thermal paste you know the liquid metal makes a difference here and if it's better stay tuned for that let me know your thoughts on this uh catch you in the next one guys tally ho